This is an excerpt from a recent Power Up webinar where viewers could ask Larry anything. And here is the question. Uh, let's see, Sean, I have an iPhone 6 and love the ability to take 720p video at 20, 240 frames a second. However, when I first take a clip into a new project, Final Cut 10 does not recognize the video properties. I'm guessing it's the fast frame rate that's causing the confusion. If the video I'm editing is of my dog running, what project frame rate would you set? Additionally, how would you retime to take advantage of the smooth 240 frame per second native media? Remember, you always set your project based upon the output that you want. So if I'm outputting for the web, I'm going to output to 720p. If I'm outputting to broadcast, it may be 1080i or 720p or whatever your delivery specs are. But here's the cool thing. If you have a clip here, and this is running at 240 frames a second, go to the retime menu and set it to automatic speed. What automatic speed does, if I remember correctly, is it will automatically play back your 240 frame a second clip at, say, 30 frames a second, which gives you this really wonderful slowed down motion. Now, if that doesn't work, because I know we can do it, I've done it, let's, let's just, uh, I'm going to run out of time. If automatic speed does not do what you want it to do, then run it at normal. Do I believe that? No, it'll be automatic speed. Yep, that's it. Automatic speed took this clip. Okay, let's see. Our clip runs at 24 frames a second. Let's highlight the project. And the project is... 20, okay, yep, there it is. That's exactly what we need to do. It sped this up by 25% to convert it from 24 frames a second to 30 frames a second. So all you have to do is select your 240 frame per second clip, go to the Smurf on a headset menu, select automatic speed, it will automatically slow down to be roughly 10 times slower than normal speed. You can select the clip, go up to the modify menu, go to the retime option, and select automatic speed. Either one of those will play the clip at its default frame rate inside your project. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar where viewers could ask Larry anything. For the complete version of this online training, please become a subscriber. Learn more at LarryJordan.com slash subscriptions and look for Webinar 152. By the way, Membership is a great value when you need to stretch your training dollars. A subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than a thousand movies, hundreds of hours of training, all in depth and all up to date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash subscriptions. And thanks.